Ryan here from Lexus of Edmonton to give you a video demonstration of this black on black RX350. This one's a premium package. It's got a V6 engine under the hood, 3.5 liter running on regular gas. Tires all around are Michelin all season radials on 19 inch alloy rims. A couple little features on the outside here. The mirrors have the integrated turn signal. They're power folding, power adjustable, and save with your seat memory. The rails on the roof as well as a sunroof up there. The driver and passenger doors are touch to unlock. All right, now we're gonna open it up and take a look inside the vehicle. First things first on the door panel here, we've got three different seat memory settings, power locks, power windows. You can also adjust uh, the power mirrors, power folding, all that kind of thing. A little lower down, you have the flap that you can put papers in, envelopes, that kind of thing. If we take a look at the design of the step up on the RX, it's built to be really well insulated in the gap here so that it's not going to get dirt and debris from the road in because when the door shuts it, it all fits in like that and is really well uh, sealed so that you're not going to really get any dirt or stuff on here so when you're getting in and out of the vehicle you're not going to get a line on the back of your pants or get dirty or that kind of thing. The uh, seat adjustments, all power obviously. Looking up here on the lower left, power trunk, power gas cap, hood release, parking brake. Hop inside, shut the door here. I'm going to turn this on so I can show you some lights, show you a little more of the interior. Right away on the left hand side, there's an extra little cup holder over here. If we get on to the steering wheel, steering wheel audio controls on the left volume, different modes like auxiliary, CD player, AM, FM, satellite. This, these buttons will kind of control your uh, channels. If we look up at the dash here, there's a little display in the center. And on the uh, right hand side of the steering wheel, we can kind of control and see different, different settings through that display, uh, different information about the vehicle. Just gonna let the camera focus, there we go. So right now it's showing uh, liters per 100 kilometers, kind of in real time. If you're driving, it would be changing and showing you where you're at. A couple different options, you know, cruising range, average speed. It's a few different things to look at there. Also on this side, you have the Bluetooth call answer, call hang up. The display screen on this is not the LCD navigation package, so it's just your Typical little display screen here showing you what uh, radio station you're on and your fan settings and clock, that kind of thing. This unit is equipped with a backup camera. If I shift the car into reverse, two things happen. One, the mirrors actually fold down a little bit so that you can kind of see your bottom wheel and where the back end of the vehicle is going a little better. And then up here, the, uh, the backup camera pops into the rear view mirror. So if I shift back and park, it'll shut off. It's like it's not even there. But you go into reverse again, and it comes back on. The, uh, the dash up here has just your typical kind of controls for the stereo, the CD player, the fan settings, your heated mirrors and your heated rear window right there. Shifter can go into sport mode with tap shift cup holders, your heated and cooling seats controls are back here. Open up the armrest, good amount of storage space in here, this little piece comes out, you can kind of move it wherever you want. And down there we got the auxiliary power outlet as well as the USB and auxiliary inputs for the stereo. Over on the passenger side, the lock and glove box. The passenger door has another little fold-out compartment for papers and that kind of thing, as well as uh, power door locks and a power window. Sunroof up top. Sunroof controls are right here. We've also got a sunglasses holder. And then last little thing with the sunshades, when you open up the mirror here, the light will automatically come on. 
As far as the interior goes, that's about it. Now we're going to move around to the back of the vehicle. Take a look at the tail lights first here. One little tidbit of information about the design of these vehicles is Lexus uses a, a thing that they call the L finesse ideal to use their Lexus L shape in all kinds of angles on the vehicle. So you can see it on the edges of the chrome here. You can see it in the tail light, around the tail light. Just got to let the camera focus. You can see that L shape all over the place even moving over to the side of the vehicle, still on this side of the tail light, up here on the spoiler, on the window. They just, they just put it everywhere in the design of the vehicle. It's kind of just a, a little signature thing that Lexus does. So with the trunk is a power trunk. You just push the button on the remote here, hold it down. And we'll take a look inside the cargo area. Comes with the cargo cover here. A couple extra little things in the bags here. The carpet floor mats. The rubber ones are already put in on this vehicle. The, the mat for the cargo area. A couple books to hold the manuals and that kind of thing. As well as uh, a cargo net for back here. Little features with the cargo area, the seats are 40, 20, 40 split, so you can literally have them up or down in any configuration that you wish. And then these little handles on both sides here, you pull them and it pushes down the seats for you, so you don't have to run around to the other door to, to get your seat to go down when you're loading up cargo. It's kind of a nice little feature. And then to shut the... To shut the back again, just the button on the top here. Now we're going to take a quick look inside the rear seats. Door panel, power window, cup holder. Seats themselves have a recliner here. Also, if you just pull it up and no one's sitting in it, it'll make the, uh, the seat fold down like I demonstrated earlier. It also has uh, adjustable to slide forward and back. A little bit difficult to do with the camera in my hand, but you know, they're fully adjustable seats back here. This is the center seat. You can fold down and be, be an armrest here. And there's also a little storage space in there and cup holders on this side. And then other than that, there's pretty much just the, the vents down there and the lights up top and that's it for the rear seat. Now we're going to come back around to the front of the vehicle and take a closer look at the headlights as well as the grill. So you can see the row of LEDs running all along here in this L shape. Those are your daytime running lights. They're really visible in all weather conditions, so people will have an easy time seeing it coming. Fog lights on the bottom there. And then this is the new grill for the 2013 model line, updated. It's called uh, the Lexus Spindle Grill, with the kind of bent in on the, on the sides design with the chrome outline. I pre-popped the hood so we can take a look at the engine compartment here. So there's that V6 3.5 liter I was talking about earlier, running on regular fuel. And then you can look around at the, uh, the paneling that covers up the engine here. They all pop off pretty easily with these little rivets. And they kind of serve two, two purposes. One, to help keep dust and debris out of, uh, out of the engine area and kind of keep things cleaner in there. And as well as to kind of muffle the sound so you get a little bit of quieter ride. And you can see that it's well, uh, well sealed the whole way around the rubber stripping. Well, that's about it for this uh, RX 350 premium package, black on black, all in all a great vehicle. I'm Ryan from Lexus Edmonton, signing off.